Then came the ancient Persians, around 500 BCE. They developed something truly ingenious. Sky cooling. Here's how it worked. They built shallow, insulated pools of water in the desert. At night, these pools would radiate heat into the dry, clear sky. The water temperature would drop below the ambient air and actually freeze. They were using physics to make ice, without any modern technology. Brilliant. But the Persians didn't stop there. They took this crushed ice and mixed it with fresh fruit, creating a refreshing frozen tree called Faluda. Then the Arabs looked at this Persian invention and thought, what if we made syrup from the fruit and poured it onto the ice? And just like that, sorbet was born. The word sorbet comes from sharbat, the Arabic word for a sweet drink. In fact, sharbat is also where we get the word syrup. So the next time you pour syrup on your pancakes or enjoy fruit sorbet, you're speaking a little bit of Arabic. During the Middle Ages, European travelers discovered sharbat during their journeys to the Middle East. They fell absolutely in love. They brought recipes back home and started experimenting wildly. Chocolate sorbet, rose sorbet, even pinecone sorbet. And yes, someone actually tried eggplant sorbet. Eggplant? That trend, thankfully, didn't survive history.